Therefore, let's use this workaround to start leveraging a ChatGPT search API. As we know, ChatGPT now has the ability to search the internet, but the question is, can we access this through API? Therefore, leveraging a feature that allows us to search the internet, get results, and give value. In today's video, let me show you a possible workaround that could apply to your use case of how we can access the internet through API and ChatGPT. Sound good? Let's jump in. Welcome back, y'all. Today's video is sponsored by Zapier. As you already know, they've been calling me up and they're like, yo, we gotta do a bunch of cool videos together. I'm like, let's do it. And one video I wanted to do was our ability to access the internet specifically with ChatGPT and its API. As I've seen the comments, I've seen the reactions around this new feature. People wanna access this. People wanna access this now. So let's do it. Therefore, let me give you a possible workaround and use case you can do to do this. Let's go ahead and create a new Zap together. We're gonna go up here to create Zap. The name of the game when it comes to ChatGPT accessing the internet and providing value really just comes down to a web scraper. E.g. when ChatGPT is quote unquote looking through the internet and finds an article to give you, in reality it's just taking that article, all of its data, all the text, analyzing it and then providing you a sufficient answer. What's cool is that we can actually do the same type of workflow within Zapier. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this to ChatGPT search API. To best showcase this workaround, I'm going to go ahead and set a trigger of an RSS feed. What an RSS feed is going to allow us to do is listen to multiple different websites that we find value in and then start analyzing it with ChatGPT. So for the trigger, let's hit RSS feed. The steps and flow I'm about to show you though could be applied to anything within automation or specifically API search with GPT. Trigger event. We can choose new item and feed or alternatively new items in multiple feeds, which is cool. For this video, we're just going to do new item and feed. For the feed URL, basically what I want you to do is search what you care about and see if there's an RSS feed for it. So for the example we're gonna to do today is gonna to be a market-oriented type of analysis, e.g. looking at the stock market, new articles, information on these topics. So if I type in CNN RSS feed, I can go to this first one right here and just go to CNN money. Whatever you're looking for, type RSS feed at the end of it in a search query, see if it exists. Coming over here, you have a ton of different RSS feeds to choose from. I'm gonna choose markets. I know this looks confusing, don't worry. Just come up here to your URL right here, double click, copy it. With that copied, I can come back over here and paste. Now, because CNN RSS feeds don't require a username or password, we're gonna go here, we can hit continue, test this trigger. And what this is gonna do for us is this is gonna pull in a feed, a live feed that is going to update when CNN puts out a news article associated with that category. Therefore, for me to best showcase you how to leverage this kind of tech, let's go ahead and add a filter here because maybe we don't care about every single story coming in. Like some stories are like, I don't care. Therefore, let's add a little filter here. We're gonna do a filter that basically looks out for only articles associated with actual stocks, e.g. Barnes & Noble stock source 20%, comparative to this other article that says pre-market seven things to know before the bell. Maybe I don't care about that kind of stuff. Maybe I only care about stocks. Therefore, we're gonna add a block here. We're gonna do a chat GBT. We're gonna do an action event, a conversation. Select your account. So it's gonna be simple. We're gonna say based on this article, parentheses, let's go ahead and continue with the stock article. Continue with feed A here, continue select a record. We'll click this, we'll click that. We'll put the little plus button here, we'll hit title. And then just to add a little bit more context, we'll say and description, semicolon parentheses, put the description here, which is going to be description. Makes sense. And from here, we're gonna simply ask ChatGPT to output either yes or no. So we'll go ahead and put generate yes. Notice how I'm putting the quotation marks, that's important. We just wanna see yes. If the article has to do with a specific stack and no, if it has nothing to do with a specific stock. From here, just add a memory key, 32 random characters, this is going to ensure consistent outputs, test step, and we should see yes here. Just yes. There we go. We just got yes. What this allows us to do then is add a filter block. Therefore, all we need to do in this filter block, which is pretty cool, is we're going to say only continue if, we're going to go to conversations here, we'll go to reply, reply, exactly matches yes. Therefore, we know it's an article about stocks. We hit continue here and we should get a green light. There we go. Now, just to prove to you that this works, let's go to the new item feed B, which has nothing to do with a specific stock here. Continue selected record. Continue, continue, test step. This should say no. There we go. And then this should give us a yellow light here saying like, hey, this is not yes. There we go. It would have stopped that article. Perfect. Now that we know how to filter information coming in, so we only analyze the stuff we care about, this is where the magic happens, right? Because now we can really leverage our ability to do web searches within Zapier, which then can translate into a search API-like workflow that we wanted. Actions, web parser by Zapier. Action event, parse web page. For configure, we're gonna go ahead and put the URL here of that article that passed. We're gonna hit plus here. For the new item in feed, we'll come to link. Output format, we'll put plain text. Everything else looks good here. Test step. And then we're going to get all the relevant information from that article and be able to analyze it, such as the title, the content, even as far as the image associated with it. Pretty good so far. Come down here. We're going to add another step here. We're going to add a chat GPT block. We're going to do conversation. And this is where the magic happens. 
this is the endpoint of what we would have wanted anyways on a chat GPT search on this topic of the internet. Therefore, proctor that information with whatever you want. So for example, on this one, I'll just go ahead and say this. We can go ahead and do something like, based on this article title and content, give me a summary, any buy or sell consensus. Same situation here, memory key, test this step. And there we go. We got our reply right there. And we can go ahead and add a final block here, which can either be SMS by Zapier, send ourselves a text. Alternatively, we could send ourselves an email, either through email by Zapier or Gmail or Outlook, whatever it may be. But now we've successfully created an automation workflow that allows us to leverage a search API like infrastructure in any context. Therefore, let's use this workaround to start leveraging a ChatGPT search API. I'll make sure I leave this Zapier automation in the description down below. All you gotta do is click it, add it your account for free. If you felt like you learned something in today's video, make sure to leave a like, it's completely free. It helps me out here. And I'll see you in the next video. Search the internet, API, ChatGPT search API, two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.